Race 20, leg three of the Moors Millions, over three miles, five furlongs, and 0 to 140 handicaps. And number one, back with Trafalgar for Joshua. Now and then for Martin Needham is two, Eve's delight for Pontypool Racing, the Black Mouse. Again for Ghost Zapper, Sphinx Waltz in for Darren Howes. This is where the fish live for Obi Wan, Timothy Dalton for Paul Rhodes, Moon Lake for Jim Murray, Hillbilly Boy for David Robinson, Wild Prince for Doug Warren, Proud Tarquin for Kevin Meanhan, Nacho House for Darren Thompson, Fenestra for Tan King. Tills with Glen Boy for Obi Wan, Little Istanbul for Carl Arrogante, Dell's Ghost for Del Hinton is the last. They're away. And obviously, Dell will be looking to get uh, one of his horses quite. Oh, we've lost one right at the first in his battle of Trafalgar for Joshua Sutherland. Unlucky. We're crashing through the first here at Down Roll. Rain still coming down. Being led by the Black Mouse and Little Istanbul together. They've got a couple of links on the chasing pack. So, as I was saying, Del Hinton to get one qualified. I think he was the winner of both Moore's Millions last year. In fact, I'm pretty sure he picked up everything on the final day. But it's the Black Mouse that leads them into the third. Small ditch and they're over it. There's Little Istanbul and he's inside. And they've got about a four length advantage of, from Timothy Dalton. Proud Tarquin mid pack in the green silks. He'll Billy Boy out wide. One against the fence as well as Sphinx Waltzing for Darren House and the orange silks and the black sleeves are over the fourth. Most of these are uh, hardened jumpers. We should all get round this course. Although a few are going to get caught wide here. And running back through the pack, got Dell's Ghost in the pink silks, Fenestra. Imagine it's Tam King Grey. Oh, we lost another one there. Tillsworth Glen Boy's gone. And that's one of Obi Wan's. Bad luck. To the six. Slow jump by the leaders. Let's just make sure everybody gets over it. They do. The one I can't see at the moment is this is where the fish live. Or lives. Can't see the last bit. I assume he's still on his feet. But it's the Black Mouse and Little Estambul by a couple to Sphinx Waltz in. Then we've got Tommy, Timothy Dalton. Wonder if that's proud Tarquin. We get to the eighth. They all get over that. A couple of sticky jumps there by Moon Lake of Jim Morgan and Wild Prince of Doug Warren. All along. It's still the Black Mouse from Little Estambul. Timothy Dalton to take the third now from Sphinx Walt Waltzing and proud Tarquin. We've got the Grey Fenestra. Dell's ghost now and then, he'll Billy Boy. He's delight all together, then length further back to Nacho House. Wild Prince towards the fences, Moon Lake. And this is where the fish live. Is out of shot. And I hopefully still on his feet. So as they approach the next, there's still over two and a half miles to run. It's the black mouse that leads us from Little Istanbul. Go back to Timmy Dalton. Probably the best James Bond. Probably not the best actor, but probably played James Bond truer to the books than anybody else, in my opinion. Timothy Dalton. Well, I'm a bit of a Roger Moore fan. Growing up in those days when things like Moonraker. Oh, and there it is. This is where the fish lives. Live. But it's the Black Mouse from Little Istanbul. Good name that, Little Istanbul. It was in a song. Get to the tenth. The leaders are over it. As are the remainders. The wild Prince towards the rear there. Don't worry. A couple that are really wide are Nacho House and Hill Billy Boy. As we've noticed here at Down Roll, they get caught on that uh, final bend into this straight. We want to get uh, tack over towards the rail a little bit better on this side. That's the next. The leaders are over it. There's the remainder. Here comes this is where the fish lives. Well done. So the black mouse and little Istanbul. Still one and two. This will be the last next time round. Ah, oh, we'd lost Wild Prince there. Unlucky Doug, the horse and rider have not gone up. Let's hope it's not the old uh, um, putting them both down. But anyway, up front it's Liz Estabal and Black Moose together still. Only a couple of lengths now to Timothy Dalton. Then a couple of lengths back to Dell's Ghost Proud Tarquin Eve's Delight. Sphinx walks in still on the inside. Poor jump there by Moon Lake. And now and then, I've not mentioned him much for old uh, Martin Leader. Now and then plugging away towards the rear. Also, this is where the fish live. Which we 
he still can't see, but he's still on his feet and plugging around. So they've gone through uh, 15 fences. Still got another eight. Still a mile and a quarter. We're all over that one, including now and then. This is where the fish live, still there. And as you can see, the one's going really wide hill, Billy Boy. Nacho House. Wanted to do a few further furlongs. Maybe more like four mile horses if you keep out there. Because that's a bit like the Soldus. Anybody who knows what the Soldus is, it's uh, a theory of horses at certain tracks. You know, six furlongs at Wolverhampton is probably the same as five furlongs at Lingfield. So they calculate the Soldus. So we finally get inside the mile as they go over the 19th. Everybody negotiates it, they're still with us. And it's the Black Mouse still leading from Timothy Dalton and Fenestra. Widest of all is Hillbilly Boy for David Robertson. Inside of that is Heaves Delight, Little Stem Balls drop back a little bit. Dell's Ghost Sphinx walks, walks in. Moon Lake is the nearest one to us. And then we've got Nacho House now and then. And pulled up now is This Is Where the Fish Live or Lives. So the Black Mouse from Fenestra in second, Timothy Dalton third against the fence, Hillbilly Boy out wide is four, five is Proud Tarquin, Dells go six, Moon Lake and Eve's Delight are fighting out for seven and eighth. Little Stand Boy is just getting a little bit further and further back through the field now after leading for so long. And then Nacho House out wide and now and then. So it's the Black Mouse under a little pressure now, five furlongs from home. Downhill now, leads by a couple from Fenestra. Timothy Thornton against the fence also being pushed along. Eve Delight, most of them are off the bridle here. All bar Fenestra, the grey. Oh, and a poor dive at that one from Black Mouse and allow Fenestra to take it up now. Still not off the bridle, but Fenestra, Black Mouse, takes it up again. So the Black Mouse heads for home. Finally, the Fenestra starts to put a bit of pressure on. So it's the Black Mouse, Fenestra pulling up alongside. Three furlongs left to go. They're over the 21st. They've only got two left to jump. Coming out of the pack again is Little Istanbul with a second run. Timothy Dalton on the inside. Eve Delight is there, but I can't see anything else winning from here. So it's the Black Mouse, Fenestra, these two inside the final two furlongs. Black Mouse, Fenestra, Eve Delight running on well. Timothy Dalton, Little Istanbul, Proud Tarkin making up some ground as is Moon Lake and Hillbilly Boy. But up front is still the Black Mouse as they get to the penultimate. Skips over it. Fenestra was a little bit slow. Timothy Dalton on the inside is coming up well now to challenge the Black Mouse along with Eve Delight. They're inside the final furlong. We've got one left to jump. The Black Mouse is being swallowed up by Timothy Dalton and Eve's Delight. They get over it together, but Eve's Delight gets away from it fastest. It's Eve's Delight. Eve's Delight from Timothy Dalton. The Black Mouse is going backwards, running on well. Proud Tark with Hillbilly Boy. Eve's Delight takes it for Graham Clutch Buckle. Bonty Paul race him. Well done. So Eve's Delight for Pontypool Racing takes it. Timothy Dalton for Paul Rhodes was second. The Black Mouse of Ghost Apple was third. Proud Tarquin for Kevin Meanham was fourth. And Hillbilly Boy for David Robertson was fifth.